a big round of applause. So, thank you. Stop. Um, thank you very much for being here. It's an honor and a great compensation here on that stage after these three days. So, today we're in the room where, as um, pronounced, Team Mindshamia. We're very proud to be here. Um, the challenge, you've seen it three times already, we just fly over that. Um, and we started with a qualitative challenge uh, in the hackathon as well. So, get ready for SOAR. That's our new KPI. So, uh, what does SOAR uh, do? It lets the marketing steer the brand based on market share and sales. So what's the benefit for the marketing department? It works with the consumer journey. As you've seen before, we really believe in a consumer journey uh, and make it highly operational. So what does SOAR stand for? We take the journey, like that's a typical, let's say, vacation and booking journey, we know. It starts with the inspiring phase, it goes over to compare and plan, book, prep, travel, return. So then we thought, what could be the best focus for digital strength? And we immediately found out the inspiration part is the upper part of the funnel. Because this is where you invest media money and we didn't have any KPIs um, concerning that reach, awareness and all that stuff. We did have awareness, but not reach and frequency and all that stuff. So. Therefore, we said that must be the part of the journey where we can find the digital strength. Then we had a look at the data and the, you gave us. So you have the Google data, we have uh, Amadeus, we have YouGov. And then uh, we found various insights. So, for instance, to find that there is six weeks between, depends on the booking class, between um, compare and plan to book two weeks to book and travel and so on. That was very insightful, but that was not really um, the focus on the digital strength. But we already found out that it has a huge impact from recommendation to uh, the search. And then we thought, shoot, we had to do the qualitative and the quantitative. Because then we immediately found out, hmm, we have to do a weighting. Because it has to be based on sales. So uh, we have a pretty tough business question to answer, so we have to predict and, uh, the sales for a long period of time and also uh, understand how effective different drivers were. So the, what we're trying to do first is to simplify the business problem. So basically to break it down into a level that uh, is solvable. So that means that we had to predict, for example, by class and by uh, week, but um, it's not really enough because um, in, within different markets, Lufthansa has different positioning, different positioning penetration and uh, therefore the way that uh, those sales fluctuate over time is different. So what we did is add another layer of granularity. So we added, uh, for example, the, uh, the market, so the, the country in which the fights were happening, and we could further um, decompose it by sort of route category, for example, if you wanted to. So having done this, uh, we tried to apply a simple and effective solution because the role of technology is not to be opaque but to be provide something which people can use and understand. Uh, the solution we used uh, required quite a lot of data crunching. I won't go too much in detail to how, but used uh, scalable technology in the cloud to do the data processing. Um, but the prediction itself is using a technology which is flexible uh, and provided a very accurate results. Uh, what the technology provides is an understanding of those trends at the level that we uh, prepared the data for, which means for every market, we have an understanding of the trends and inflection points that uh, the sales are having over time. Um, and this is partly what helps us to predict uh, things like your annual seasonality much more accurately. So we did that, and uh, this, the result has been this prediction. Uh, we tried a variety of other approaches, some more complex than, than others, VAR modeling, uh, having an uh, ensemble of approaches, and they all scored lower on both accuracy and, and uh, explainability. So, so now, okay, so we have, uh, from the journey analysis, um, we do have a set of uh, metrics which we know are influential. I mean, we know they, they matter. 
And importantly, we know they're actionable because we selected the one you can actually have an impact on. But we don't yet know how important they are. So this is the goal of this analysis. So here we use the method that assesses uh, something called causality, which is different from uh, correlation or, um, or regression coefficients. What it aims to do is to look at how much uh, each metric is influencing the, what we aim to predict within a 10-week horizon. And it does this through a method which is widely accepted for that purpose, which is called grand jury causality analysis. And the result of that is the measurement, a quantitative measurement of the impact in the long run of each of those potential drivers towards our objective at the level of market, uh, brand, and week. So what that means is that we can be sure that uh, when you act on something, it does, it will have an effect because it's, uh, the, the coefficient reflects that. So uh, the process we use to select the variable is going to use very streamlined. So we put every time series we have in the data set and selected the ones which were the most important, which gave us that's how we came to SOAR, because it's a share of search and recommendation. So this is how the, the metric works. So I'm guessing you're curious to see how the metric works in different countries. Here we go. So we um, took a um, look into the data. And we compared Germany and the US with these um, brands. And uh, what we saw, sorry here, it was quite surprising to us. We knew that uh, Germany is a very strong market for Lufthansa. But we uh, observed, so we, um, Lufthansa is already on the third place in the States. That kind of gained our interest. It's like, that is interesting. So we dig deeper into that. That was very interesting indeed. And uh, so basically what we can see here is a result uh, of what the metric means in, uh, uh, in the previous slide over different, uh, different markets. And what we have on this slide is a measure of the causal effect of each uh, metric that we consider, so share of search and also uh, recommendation for each class. So let's focus on uh, one class, for example. Uh, we have, uh, well, uh, on two classes, let's say the economy, which is Y, and uh, business class, which is C. So if we look at uh, the share of search for Lufthansa and, uh, and uh, Del let's say Delta in the US, you can see they're very different. I mean, Lufthansa has 2%, Delta something like 31. So not really uh, at all the same, the same thing. At the same time, we can see that uh, improving share of search based on this, this data, uh, is much more important for Lufthansa than it is for Delta. So we could conclude, well, let's improve the share of search. Actually, what we see here is that b even though there's this difference, the real battle is for recommendation. And uh, we can see that the influence that recommendation has on, uh, on sales for Lufthansa is twice as large than share of search. So even though at uh, sort of first look, we may think uh, share of search is the main thing to improve, this would show that improving recommendation has much greater effect. And also we can see that Lufthansa has a bit to gain in that respect um, to move from where it is today at 13% to level where Delta is at 21. So the next 20 seconds, because we want to really want to make this operationable. So the next step would be more data concerning the investment, especially in the digital uh, invest, uh, initiatives. And we have to break down that down into a quarterly results to give you a dashboard that you can work with on a quarterly basis. Thank you. Thank you very much.